everybody, it's Mike AK, That Resale Guy. Today is Friday. I'm a little late getting my video out to you, but uh, we'll get through it. We'll get to any things pretty quickly here. Got a few things to cover though. Got a few sales. Uh, I haven't done a video since, uh, well, I did one yesterday, but it didn't have any what sold. So I got a few days of what sold uh, to show you. I'm not gonna show you everything, just a few of the highlights, what I have to ship out today and a couple things from the past uh, couple days. There's been a lot of stuff that's been, you know, 15, $20 items. Nothing too exciting. We'll kind of skip over those, show you the highlights. I picked up some really good stuff this morning and this week. I'm gonna show you some of the top items that I picked up. And then at the end of the video, we gotta do the drawing. I haven't done it yet. So I'm gonna film this whole video, go back and do the, the drawing and then splice it in at the end. So good luck to everybody that entered. Uh, that video was on Tuesday. So hopefully you got your uh, entry in there for the Simon game, the football game, or the other thing. I don't know, there was three, thing, three things. I think most of them were for Simon and football anyway. So. Uh, we'll do that drawing. Like I said, I think there's only maybe 20 to 25 entries, so you have a pretty good chance to win. And other than that, yeah, let's get going. All right, let me show you the pickups real real quick so I can get those done and off the desk. I uh, hit uh, two stores this morning, but I only bought stuff at one of them, and I really didn't need to go anywhere else because I really scored uh, at this place this morning. First up, I got this Logitech Harmony 650 remote, brand new in the packaging, yeah. Finding these used is good enough, but finding one brand new for $5, I just listed it for $199.99 on Amazon. Now, the price ranges quite a bit. Uh, some people have them around $150, but the buy box on Amazon is like $220. So I went ahead and put mine at $200, and uh, hopefully it'll sell soon. Also, I picked three of these up cause, just because it's going to be one listing. Three of these Stanley. These are just like little mini keychain, uh, three foot measuring tapes. They were a buck a piece on Amazon. These are going for like twelve. So for a buck a piece, you know why not? These were a big score, and I've never found these before. Never really even knew about them, but just because it was some vintage packaging, I looked them up. I found three packs of these vintage. Whoa, dropping them. Let's see, no glare please, uh, vintage Gerber vinyl pants for babies. Got six pair in here, I think it is. Found three packs of these, $3 a piece. I did a quick look up, they were selling for like $35 per package. Uh, so I don't know if I'll sell these singly or put them into one lot and do like a hundred bucks. Uh, again, I still gotta do a little more research because I saw some listed at like $50 a pack. So maybe just the colors and stuff matters. I don't know, I've never sold baby pants before. Next, see, this is all from the same store. Five packs, dropping stuff today. Five packs of stuff. These are uh, reusable Morris home canning lids and seals, but you can tell this is some vintage packaging here. 75 cents a pack for five of these, and it looks like they're going for about 10, eight to $10 per pack. I got five of them, so I'll probably just bundle them all together into one big lot. They were 75 cents a piece. So yeah, if I get 50 bucks for this stack, that's really good. I almost dropped them again. What else is back here? Same store. I just picked this up. I don't know if it'll sell for a whole lot, but just look, come on, look at this old packaging. Sears infant permapressed pillowcase. It was a dollar. That's the pattern. It's kind of hard to tell on there. It look, looks like they put the pattern on the uh, little picture here, but this is just some old vintage stuff. I don't know if it's a $10 item. I don't know if it's a $20 item, but for a dollar, I figured it was worth it. And the best thing that I've picked up, now these I picked up on Wednesday. I went out to my antique booth. I hit two stores on the way back and I'm really glad I stopped at these. Uh, I've never found these before. I knew that these were worth a lot of money. Maybe you've seen some of the videos of other people talking about them in the past, but these are these big Intex, the wet set brand, and this is the big 48 inch inflatable ball. They make a few different versions. This is the striped one, and I'll throw up a thing of comps up here. These are ridiculous of what, what they sell for. There's about, I think 10 of them available right now, and there was more than that sold. There was like 14 or 16 sold, and these sell anywhere from people putting them at, some people sell them for $75. There's no reason to do that. The going price seems to be about $150. Yes, people pay $150 for this big inflatable beach ball. 
So I don't know why, but they do. So yeah, if you find these, I found two of them. Yeah, they were like $3 a piece, ridiculous. So uh, I don't know if it'll take till summer for these to sell again, but either way, I put them out listed. I think I put mine at like 155, because some have sold up for like 170, $180. So if you can find them, pick these up. So yeah, those are some kind of insane pickups, stuff that I've found really cheap that goes for really high. So it's been a good week of thrifting. Sales have been okay this week. Kind of the normal amount hitting that uh, 150-ish dollars per day average, I think this week. Uh, first up for sales, uh, we got this stack of Pokemon cards. These are the ones that I did the video about. I got these from uh, Harry Tornado, 20 bucks for the stack. I went ahead and just listed it as an as an auction. Figured if any of the viewers wanted it for my channel or some of his channel happened to catch the search and wanted it, uh, they ended up selling for twenty two fifty. So after fees and stuff, it's about uh, break even. Wasn't really looking to make a whole lot of money on these or anything. Just figured I'd try to get them out there and uh, let somebody get them. Now I don't think it was a viewer. They didn't leave me a comment or anything. If it was a viewer, thank you for buying them. But uh, but yeah, twenty two fifty. I sold this bobblehead. Now, this is Kelly Aubrey Jr. for the Phoenix Suns. Actually, I actually have another one of these in my antique in my antique booth that I should go pick up because this sold for $39.99 plus shipping. They did these ones called Valley Boys, and uh, they did him, DeAndre Ayton, and one other guy. They didn't put a checklist on the box, uh, but they sell really well. So this one, yeah, I picked it up at a thrift store for just a few bucks, sold for $40 plus shipping, and it's staying in state, so it's not gonna cost too much to ship. Uh, I sold a lot of autograph photos over the last few days. I'm not sure if they're Christmas gifts or what, but this is Chris Chelios from the uh, Detroit Red Wings. Jersey's right there, I should know. Uh, autograph right here. I already got the JSA authentication and everything. What did this sell for, though? I don't remember what it sold for. Pause. Time out. This sold for $29.99 plus shipping. And then the last, well, the last one that I have to ship out today. I'll show you a couple others quickly. These are Pokemon battling coin sets. So there's three of these coins in each set. They're about silver dollar size. And I went in one store and I found 11 of them. They had a marked, I think it was like $3.49. I used my coupon. So it gets it just under three bucks, like $2.80 each. So I took two of them to my antique booth, put them in there for 10 bucks a piece. And these I put out as a lot of nine. So you get 27 coins and it went for $59.99 plus shipping. Uh, so what is that? If I do the math, that is $7 a piece, somewhere in there, $7 and change. So made $4.50 or so on each individual unit. So pretty good sale here, 60 bucks plus shipping. All right, let me go down my list, talk about a couple other things that sold. Uh, again, I sold a bunch of autograph photos. I sold this Brett Hall autographed photo. Uh, this was when he was with the Red Wings. It went for $29.99 plus shipping. I sold this really cool one of Oral, Hersh Oral Hershiser of the Los Angeles Dodgers. It's this like sepia print, 11 by 14 size, and it sold for $45 plus shipping. And the last thing is a Chicago Bears jacket. I picked this up when we were up on vacation in Pine Top. Picked it up there, it was less than $10. And I sent an offer for $55 plus shipping and they bought it. Really nice vintage Lee jacket. It's like a denim jacket uh, with like khaki sleeves. Really cool. So sales been going good. And uh, yeah, let's get to the drawing. You know, I think you all just want to get to the drawing anyways. It's Friday. Let me see if I won something. Let me pull the items here so I can uh, see what they are again. All right. Space Invaders. I know some of you did ask for Space Invaders. We got Simon. That's flashing and working. And then the football game. I haven't taken the battery out yet. I got to remember to do that. So uh, good luck to everybody. I'm going to slide over and we're going to go do the drawing. All right. We're here on YouTube. Random comment picker. We got the URL right there. Uh, let's see. Fil filter duplicate users. That's a yes. So Get YouTube comments, how many? I was right, 27. I know it was in the 20s somewhere. So your odds are pretty good. We're gonna come down here and we're gonna pick a winner. So good luck to everybody, whether it's Simon or whoever. I like this new little setup they have here. And our winner is Ryan Clark, Space Invaders, thanks. So, all right, Ryan, here you go. Bam, Space Invaders, it is gonna be yours. So all you need to do is contact me on uh, Instagram or through email, look in the description of any of these videos and you'll get my info there. So congrats, Ryan. All right, like I said, I'm actually filming this 
outro before uh, I do the drawing. So good congratulations to whoever won. You need to look it down in the description, get my info. You can contact me, contact me on Instagram or through email. Get me your mailing info and I'll get this sent out to you. So congrats on winning. Uh, again, I appreciate everybody for watching these videos, giving the thumbs up, the likes and all, all that stuff. So uh, I think that's it for today. I hope you all have a great weekend, whether you're, uh, you know, spending time with family, whether you're going out thrifting, whether you're going to garage sales and estate sales this weekend. I hope you have a great one. So thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.